This is an excerpt from Masterclass 2.0, how to fill your cleaner schedule without losing thousands of dollars on bad marketing. Enjoy. Secret number three, how to become the most trusted cleaning business in your town without 20 years of experience. So I started in business with zero clients, zero experience, and zero dollars. I had no idea how to get new clients, but I knew one thing. I wanted to help. And so in my attempt to find these people to help, I hung flyers, posted on social media, I joined networking groups, invested in a website, and I failed at using all of those mediums to get new clients. But really, I didn't fail. I just learned what not to do, right? And I gained experience. And I created stories. And most importantly, I acquired wisdom. And so speaking of wisdom, one of my favorite ways to acquire wisdom is to study the greats. And so whether that's listening to somebody's podcasts, listening to somebody's books, listening to somebody's courses, I will consume as much information from somebody as possible to try to be able to shortcut the process of me trying to make the same mistakes that they have already solved or me to try to solve the problems that they've already solved. Right. And so when I go to the gym, I no longer listen to music. I listen to books or listen to podcasts and it was a podcast when I was working out that I, I heard something. And I just couldn't unhear it. It was one of those questions that, that I referred to earlier that when I asked myself this question, I was like, man, this is, this is a good question. And so the question that was raised on this podcast was, if you turn off all your paid advertising, would you still have a business in 12 months? And so my answer, maybe. I'm actually not sure. And so at that moment, I had realized that my marketing system had been exposed. And so then my first thought was, well, how do I strengthen this? Have you ever heard of the term compound interest? I think this, this has been made famous by, by our boy, Albert Einstein. In his, in his most famous quote, the most powerful force in the universe is compound interest. And so I asked myself a little bit of a different question. I said, what is the most powerful force in business? Word of mouth. It's actually why everyone is on here today. Somebody said something. Somebody heard it. Somebody referred you to be here. And so as I began to think about it, I was like, well, what is actually word of mouth marketing? Mm -hmm. Is it one of your current customers telling their friends and family members? Is it a customer tagging you in, in a Facebook post? Mm -hmm. Are they online reviews? And ultimately, it came down to a combination of all these things, right? But it was walking through that process of defining what word math marketing was that it led me to, to the next question. How many of you guys check online reviews you, before you use a, before you go to a restaurant or use a new service? Yeah, me too. 
until last year, I Googled cleaning services near me. And what I discovered was that the first thing that I noticed was a total number of reviews. It's the first thing that caught my eye. Because pretty much everybody has the same amount of ratings. But the total amount of reviews mattered. So that was something that was, was interesting to me. And so as I noticed that, can anyone guess where our cleaning company was? We were right in the middle of the pack. We were average. And so from there, I asked myself the next question, well, how much different would our business be with a hundred more reviews? Right. And after trying to talk myself out of it, I just realized that we surely wouldn't make less money with more five-star reviews. And so I began this campaign, this word of mouth campaign to acquire more reviews. Right. And so here's exactly how we did it. It's the first thing we did is we actually created a goal. Okay. 100 reviews, that was our goal, 100 more reviews. We created an irresistible offer for both our clients and for our staff. Okay. To incentivize them to leave five-star reviews. And so we sent this irresistible offer to all of our reoccurring clients who hadn't yet left us a review. And after every first time clean, we prompted each person to write us a review. And then after we did those two things, we did something really crazy. You guys ready for this? This is actually wild. We followed up. Again, consistently, over and over again. If you enjoyed that excerpt and you want full trainings, you can go to Building a Million Dollar Business Masterclass 1.0 and you can create your free account absolutely free. This is the step-by-step -step process to building a million dollar cleaning company from scratch. So if you want access to that information and you want to join the free community, click the link below and or go to masterclasscleaning.com and create your free account. Let's go.